Ride Radio. On today's episode, we are breaking down my song, Casanova, from my new project, Parkside. But before we get started, I want to introduce my very special guests on the show today. Uh, these are some of my, my, uh, my friends, my team, and we call ourselves the House of M. So I'm going to start off with Mr. Ray Kwasi Nelson. What's cracking, everybody? Drummer extraordinaire producer. <laughs> Mr. Ryan Mack, producer, writer. And we also have Mr. Taj Wilkes, good, producer. Y'all? So y'all yeah. tell me a little bit about yourselves. Um, Taj, we've been working together for many, 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 many years now. A long um, time. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of good stuff. we just growing. Um, thanks for having me on. Ryan Mack. Um, been working together with Nick and Taj since um, since the, the cradle. I'm just kidding, not that long. <laughs> <laughs> um, the it's cradle. been since like since college. Like so, we've been in LA like four years now. Mm-hmm. So the college was five years for me. So that's like at least <laughs> nine. It's <laughs> almost ten years for so, most people. <laughs> so yeah, these are my day one niggas. So yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> gang, gang, gang. <laughs> Mr. Kwasi. What's cracking, everybody? It's Ray Kwasi Nelson. Um, I've been working with these amazing uh, fellas for, since well, since they've been in L.A. I've known them for a while. We all went to school together, the illustrious Florida what? A&M Florida University, the number one HBCU in the world. Amen. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, known them for a while, uh, same fraternity, and uh, I moved out to L.A., and then they followed probably like, what, a year later? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so since then, we, we've been locked and loaded. We've been mm-hmm. doing it. <laughs> we've been yeah. locked and loaded. And we've all come together to create this experience called Parkside that's, that's going to be out. Um, but today, we're talking about Casanova, which is um, one of my songs that is going to be on this new project. And it actually started off as another, a completely different song. Ryan, tell us a little bit about that. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> um, so Casanova... I d- it's so funny, like every time I hear that that the name of that song, I'm like, oh, I wrote that. <laughs> I'm a, I'm on that one because like I don't recognize the name all the time. Right. The song has had so many different very like various lives, I should say. <laughs> so, um, what, 2017. Yeah, uh, no, but 20. Because we so we started working on this in Tallahassee. Yeah. Wow. So it had to be like 15, yeah. 14. Definitely like 15. 15. It had to be like 15. Project Pat. I didn't even know Project that. Pat. Project Pat. Yeah. I, can, do you have that? Can you play that? Do yeah. I have Project Pat? Not loaded. I don't think Not I loaded. have it loaded. But I mean. We can we'll insert plug yeah. insert that in. <laughs> click, click the link. Yeah. But, <laughs> click the link. But yeah, that song has had a lot of different like variations. So it's, it's really beautiful to see like the final end product and yes and see like how music can evolve itself like evolve evolve when you have when you when you allow yourself the freedom to be creative the freedom to bounce ideas off of other people yes not and not be you know tied to a deadline like Mm. this song started in like we said 2015 so not being pushed and rushed to you know release something that you don't feel is ready to be released so like (laughs) if you got to work on it with 12 different people over the course of five years then that so be it that that was the that was what was needed for that song so i just love just seeing the life of the of the song what what was wasn't it like one of the first songs you like did some like producing work on? I think because the end of it. Oh like yeah, oh yeah. Pat, yeah. But that's not even that. It's that didn't even, even make it. Song. <laughs> 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 yeah. It wasn't that it was that, bad. No, just, no, no. It's, it yeah, but <laughs> that that goes to show. Like, I mean, the music changes. Like the song changes. Like. But yes, that was one of the first songs I tried to delve into the actual producing. Like I've all, like I've always like been like into songwriting and the lyrics and the melodies of the song. But this was like your first, like that was the first time I tried to. I one know. of the first times. Yeah, it was one. It was yeah. very close to the beginning because yeah, I, I definitely. I found that. I found the use of an arpeggiator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just went ham. Went so. ham. That'll work. Yeah. That'll uh, that'll that'll that, work every that, time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. This song actually, when we first um, actually started changing it, we actually got it placed. Um, I remember um, 
when we started perk- working on it originally, it was different. It was a different song. Like I think the uh, the words were like, "I've been making plans, don't you understand?" You know, it was something mm-hmm. different. But we got it, you know, put into a music library. So um, with the help of Kwasi and uh, Ryan and 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 Taj and Nkenji, shout out to Nkenji. Nkenji. So Ray, tell me a little bit about what went into like the rework of the the track, because I know you very you. I mean, you, you you'll put your foot in you know a little <laughs> percussion. So tell me tell me a little bit. That guy. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, I, I'm I'm trying to. I wish I heard the what it was before like, the original because I I can't remember. But I just remember when I heard the song they played, I was like. Yo, this is a vibe. Like mm-hmm. Ryan, I was like these lyrics, like the melodies, like the foundation was already there. Yeah, and I think this is probably like one of the first songs that we kind of like started working on together. Yeah, I think this was like the one, and um, I was kind of I had been producing at the time, but I was really you know really getting into my bag once I moved out here and trying to figure it out. Definitely, getting and I, I really enjoy working with Nick and Taj and Ryan, like this the, the house of him. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like. I can be the most experimentive with, with your that sound. A word? Yes, Exper- yeah. yourself by experimental. Real. Yeah, exper- <laughs> yeah, like with the sounds and like you know really kind of get into the Kanye and Pharrell mm-hmm. vibes of you know, you know different s- different snares mm-hmm. and the different mm-hmm. roles and you know just really finding those textures. Um, because I mean at the time like you know like to me Nick like Nick's music you know what I'm saying has always been like hella unique mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying to you and you know just like being able to you know really. Dive. Push me mm. to kind of, you know what I'm saying, really find those sounds that mesh. Yeah. So, yeah, we just started growing it. We're trying different things. We ain't like this. Took that out. Okay, I send you some stuff. You go time. change it. I come back to the house. It's a whole different song. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so it's a rapper we, on it. Right, okay. right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and we just let it grow. But, yeah, like Ryan said, it's, I think it's about, um, you know what I'm saying, not having necessarily like a deadline, you know what I'm saying, and really letting the song live in every s- possible space, you know what I'm saying, until we find the one. Right, right. I think that's a big part of, like, the whole song creation process because, like I was saying, if you rush it, you may not necessarily get the best result. And I know we work in, we got plenty of other tracks that we work on all together, you know, separately. And it's like we take our time because we want to really put our feelings, our memories, our moods into the music, and we really want it to reach, you know, people. And I feel like if we were to rush it and we were to put the song out how it was before, it, I don't think it wouldn't have, it would have had the impact it, it has now. You know, a lot of people love it. They're like, oh my God, I like the sound. I like how you're progressing your sound forward and you're doing different things. But I feel like, like you guys said, if we would have rushed that process, we wouldn't have even, we wouldn't even gotten here. You know what I mean? Yeah. We started that a long time ago. Right. That's years and years and years and years. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so Taj, if you could have any one collaboration on the song, who would it be? Because I know you were very instrumental on starting the song. So let's just let's just break down the dynamic in, in the House of M group. So usually whenever we make a song, Ryan, Taj, Ray, or myself, we come up with an idea or a melody, and usually we'll just pass it around. And so Taj necessarily started this song, the melody of it. Um, so Taj, tell me a little bit about that one collaboration you would have if you could have your way on this. Oh, uh, one person that would, one person that I could really feature on it. Is that what you said? Collaboration. Oh, to collaborate with? No pressure. Just take your time. Uh, Let it come to you. Producing wise, I would say for real, for sure. Mm. Yeah, because of how it started, um, I think I did some type of baseline. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, like, the from there, it was really like. Ish, uh, from mm-hmm. it, and then you kind of went and added some other stuff and you added some drums, but from like not the Project Pat days, but <laughs> the, the newer version from Project Pat, um, would definitely talk to it about Pharrell and kind of hear what he would do, um, how he would put a spin on it. What about you, Ryan? Wh- who would you have as a one collaboration or one collaborator on this song? Jeez, um, I'm not good at this. <laughs> person um a collaborator just anybody i mean i'm fine with the people i'm collaborating with i know that's right (laughs) i don't want to do something that's already been done i know that's right we're just gonna name somebody who we all know like we we're making a new wave right now so like 
I I don't want to you know try to find a new wave with someone who already had their wave. You know, like yeah, not, no, not no. saying that that's a bad thing or anything, but like we just try. I'm trying to find my wave, trying to find our wave. Like mm-hmm. so, I I can't think of nobody but us. <laughs> I know that's right. For us, by yeah. us. <laughs> you feel the same way, Quasi? I, I do agree. I mean, I was gonna get to name call them. But <laughs> I mean, I mean, but I mean don't know. don't let me stop you. Yeah. Like, definitely answer I mean, the question. I mean, yeah, know? but I mean, I, I do feel that, like, very much so. Like, I do feel like we have an energy and a vibe that's unique to us. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's just like, yeah, like for us, by us. But for sure, like the Pharrells, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, would be dope. Um, I would actually be curious to hear. Like some type of female vocal, maybe mm. see what, mm. or like mm-hmm. a her would be on the song. Ooh. Oh yeah, that'll be, that'd be different too. That'd so. be different. Love her. Shout out. Love her. <laughs> 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 so let's get into talking about like writing this song. It was for me. It was um, writing the verses was difficult. I, I would say it wasn't as easy as some of the other songs because I felt like I wrote a bunch of different verses. I know Ryan, you was writing verses. We was writing different choruses and hooks. Um, so tell me, Ryan, what, what do you, what, what's a part, like, how do you go about like writing a song to get your melodies or like, what do you tell, tell, tell the people we want to know. Um, I use experiences. So Mm. I use how the song makes me feel. And I try to tie that to the experience that is related to that feeling that Mm -hmm. the song gives me. Um, and usually, um, my melodies come from me just singing along with the music that I already hear. Like I'm not, I'm usually work best when there's music already there. Um, I'm, I mean, not that I can't write a song, you know, without the music, I can write a song without the music, but it just seems, I feel more comfortable when there is already a foundation of music that I can play around with the melody, like, like I can input my melody and, and try to transform the song to, to something else uh, rather than me trying to convey my my message to someone else to try to make a beat over it or um and until like i'm still like in the beginning stages of this pro- producing thing <laughs> like me trying to make my own music so until yeah. that point i i feel more comfortable when the the music is there and i kind of just let that guide me pretty much okay. i feel like i do the same thing sometimes but i feel like on this one it was it was still difficult because i feel like when i Cause uh, if you listen to the song on the first verse, I didn't like the first verse that I wrote, so I kind of like yeah. shortened it and I like mean, we went through a bunch of it. verses. I didn't like the first verse. I didn't like a lot I of didn't, stuff I did. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like a lot of stuff about that song. Yeah. So. I've been making plans. Yeah, uh, I, told, I, I didn't told like that. About that. I was like, Nick, I was like, Nick, that sounds so old school. We yes, because <laughs> I had started, I had started writing that portion with Marvin, um, Marvin White, who also wrote on some other songs on Parkside and other songs that I've done. Shout out to Marvin. Shout out to Marvin. 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 But I was Marvin. like, <laughs> starving Marvin. But I was saying to myself, like, I like it, but it doesn't feel like it fits the the song. It doesn't feel like it fits it. So. But the second verse, you know, falling in love, that's the wrong way. Yeah. You should choose my way. Think of yourself yeah. as Beyonce. Y'all know I love Beyonce. So I feel like when I got into the point to write that second verse, I, I did what you said. I kind of like tapped into some memories and I really tapped into what is the song saying and what does the song require of me? So to Ray, tell us a little bit about how you go about like creating your parts in the song. Like when you pick your sounds or when you pick your your melodies or you pick your sections, tell me. What do you, you know, how do you go about doing that? And what do you do when you make something you don't like? Right. Mm, that's, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, I feel like I make something I don't like more times than none. Right. And don't we all? Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Yes. Um, but, I mean, it just depends what space. Sometimes you, I'll answer your question first. But the, the, depending on the space, like, sometimes I just, you know, you just go on to the next. Um, and, and then, it, but sometimes it's really, you really got to kind of push through. You have those push through sessions when you, like, Okay, I know this ain't working, but like I really want to make this work, mm-hmm. you know. And you really just kind of stay at it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's you know, I I, I like to take my time. Sometimes like, mm-hmm. I know people are into the quick, and I and I, I the quick is cool. Shout out twenty minute cook up. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? It, which is cool, but a lot of times I like to take my time. You know, make sure I find the right sounds. Um, you know, I, I'm around like a really my my one of my best friends is like a really dope producer. Shout mm-hmm. out to Jahan. 
So really just being around him, studying, you know, what he does mm-hmm. and like the simplicity in mm-hmm. his sounds where, you know, it's like he's really just tries to find those three to four, you know, drum percussion sounds and really just make those stick in the music. You know what I mean? Um, so I really kind of try to take that approach. But even with your music, a lot mm-hmm. of times I feel like it calls for more, you know, so with your stuff, I kind of try to find those layers, mm-hmm. you know, like those kind of percussive, you know, kind of stick, like kind of like the Kanye vibes where yeah. you have like these percussive layers under the mm-hmm. music, mm-hmm. throw a filter yeah, on it and kind of let it, yeah, and, and really make the drums, you know, hit. Um, so, yeah, I, I like to take my time, you know, sometimes, uh, especially when we working on the stuff, like oh, yes. the song we did yesterday, you oh, know what I'm yeah. saying, just, Re- reborn, <laughs> Re- reborn, <laughs> rebirth, <laughs> rebirth, 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 rebirth. Um, yeah, Tars, tell me a little bit about um, what inspired you to um make this song. If I didn't ask that already, um, inspired me to make Casanova. Um, Cause it was called something else before, wasn't it? Project. Pat. Yeah, yeah, it was and then we named it Pat. something else. I don't even remember what it was before that. Yeah. Um, oh man. Uh, what to do? Was it what to do? No, that was like one of the. Now I know. <laughs> so many names. Yeah. So with Project Pat, though, like when I started with Project Pat, I would call myself like during that time I was still kind of new producing, so I called myself trying to learn how to use 808s and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it sucked ass, but I tried. It. Um, <laughs> That's why you hear like some weak ass eight oh eights in it um, from that project. We was using stop sound. Yes, oh my god. Um, I was we didn't know. I had no idea what the fuck it was. Those sounds were so no stop. Idea. Jesus, so stop. Uh, but then I always like you know like I like padded sounds and melodies. So like chords and melodies. So I like that. So that's why we got padded and everything. But that's what I just kind of put things I like whenever I'm making music. I just really put what I like, honestly. Um, but then when we did. Uh, Casanova, as we know it now, I don't know what the fuck name of the fuck is that. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck they name is on, but um, yeah, we, we, we only called it Project Pat, I think. Yeah, yeah. we I never came up with Casanova, a name. Casanova, we had an original. Uh, I feel like it was a name before Casanova. It had to be something. I don't know what mm-hmm. it was, but it'd it be so many names with these whatever, songs. Whatever <laughs> it was, whatever that was, uh, for that one, I really just wanted to because it, it didn't start so percussive, which was it, it was very much. When I, if I'm doing something, I'm like, you know, drums are probably my weak suit, but like, what I'm usually, I'm usually going to sit to a good, strong bass line and some chords. That's what I'm going to give you. And, and, and some melody around that, like, whatever. So that's what it was. So I just took what I like, which was a bass line. And I remember having asked you, I was like, Nick, just listen to this bass line and see what you think about it. Can you change? Because I went to probably like, what was about two or three different bass lines with that? And you came in and you did some stuff with the bass line. Uh, the chorus, I mean, I think it's the same chorus is still there pretty much. I would probably chop them up a little bit and, you know, play with the rhythm a little bit, but the chorus structure is still there. The bass line is still there for the most part. Mm-hmm. My favorite sound in them yeah. is that, that, that sim. No, 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 that comes in on the chorus. Dun, dun. Oh wow, wow, yeah, that. I don't know what I added that. Wow, 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 wow. That thing made me feel like I'm in space. Yeah, that's that's me. Yeah, 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 that's me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> critical to the sound. Um, anybody else got any other things they want to drop? Some secret. I just want to do a um, pause for the calls. Postmates took the um, order from black restaurants off the. Oh main my goodness! Feed. We got to get that. We got to get that solved. solved. It probably has something to do with Uber. <laughs> oh yeah, Uber did yeah, buy them. Uber down here. Yeah. Bought them. Oh, As you were. As I was. Stay oh woke. <laughs> <laughs> Stay woke, folks. <laughs> Stay woke. Um, Nick, for you, do you like you ask everybody else about collaborating with somebody who would you're a good collaborator or feature on this song? Beyonce, Beyonce all day oh, long. Okay. I feel like, especially the section. That's um, a cop out, Nick. Everybody wants. I don't think it's a cop out because I, I feel like Beyonce. I was inspired, especially <laughs> on the the bridge with the ah ah yeah. ah. I feel like that was very like Beyonce inspired, just because I I respect the the the. The hustle she has for her craft, for her voice, for her her lyrics, for her her albums, for her visuals—it just seems like it's everything is purposeful, 
and it seems like she's doing it because she really connects to it. So when I got to that section and I heard how the music was going, I was like, instead of trying to sing on the bridge, let me just do some just little harmonies, you know, a little ah, ah, and then ah, ooh. Yeah. And I was thinking about Egypt in that, in that, in that particular section. So like when you hear it, just close your eyes and you'll start to see like, because that part is saying, meet me in the blue and all that stuff. So in Egypt, they have this blue stone that they used to wear. You, know, you can look it up. But um, I was thinking about blue. What's it called? What's it called? Lapis prosciutto. Lapis lazuli. Y'all go and research that. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, that was what I was thinking about in that section. But um, anybody got anything else for this? Um, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good too. I, I really had a great time creating this song with you guys. Yeah, oh, I really love. I wanted to say, uh, <coughs> like, I really, I want to reiterate that I really love the transformation of the song, like, because mm. yeah. so we heard, like, I, I, I didn't write that song to that, that song. Like, you <laughs> know no. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. so it's just amazing to see something like just be. Re like you said, rebirthed re-imagined. into something else, like reimagined. Yeah. So I remember, that I remember when I first heard all. like that free chorus, that like free chorus. <laughs> that free chorus, honey. <laughs> remember <laughs> that I told ya who I when that, yeah. when that beat drop out, like, <laughs> like I'm like, when, who did? <laughs> <what?"> <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, that was even a thing when we first. It was not. People doing that. That was not. It was not. It was not. It was not. Thing, man. So crazy. Yeah, but I just love how sound can evolve if you allow it to. And, that, and that's the gem I would drop for all the creators out there. Just give your songs, you know, the space to grow as a song. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. People going to listen to it thousands of times, so you should be able to listen to it thousands of times and give it that space to grow. So go listen to it a thousand a th- times. Uh, please. A thousand times one. Amen. And then if tell a, somebody else Okay. If 100,000 people listen a thousand times, you know, <laughs> we... we they ain't ready for it. Um, <laughs> but I do want to thank my special guest for joining me today. Thank you guys so much for coming on the show and telling these good folks about how we made this song. I think it's important to show people how songs come to be, right? Because some people think it's just a, a quick thing or one person or two people, but it takes a whole village, as you guys can see. Yeah, Amen. and the, the song is like a baby. Yes, it's like a baby, and it has to grow. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 <laughs> but thank y'all so much for tuning in to Parkside Radio. Be sure to go check out my song, Casanova, available on all streaming platforms. My name is Nick Lamar.